German bicycle manufacturer Pinion has today launched its new eDrive motor gearbox unit. Yes, that's right, they've combined an e-bike motor with their gearbox technology into one coexisting unit that could change the landscape of e-bike powertrains forever. We've got the full scoop on this cutting edge new tech, so let's get stuck in and see what makes this stuff tick. If there's three things that send cyclists into a tiz, it's gearboxes, e-bikes and wireless shifting. Throw them all in the ring together and you have a recipe for pitchforks in comment sections everywhere. Pinion though have pedalled headfirst into battle with its new e-drive motor gearbox unit. The German gearbox manufacturer is made up of former Porsche car engineers and they've released a powertrain that combines an e-bike motor and a gearbox into one unit that shifts wirelessly. Is this the future of electric bike technology and will it finally be able to convince more people to ditch their coveted derailleurs? Pinion has been making its bicycle gearboxes for more than a decade. While they are popular with riders who want a reliable, basically maintenance-free drivetrain, they haven't really managed to crack the mainstream, where derailleurs still rule the roost. Increased drag is the primary problem with gearboxes for bikes. Back in their Porsche days, the engineers at Pinion had powerful engines to overcome the drag in their car's gearboxes. That drag is more of a problem on a bicycle, where the power of a rider is obviously a lot less, and the difference between a gearbox and a derailleur drivetrain can really be felt through the pedals. Unlike a car, bikes also don't have clutches, so the shifting of Pinion's gearboxes relied on you easing off the pedals in order to shift smoothly, as the gearbox's cogs cannot change under high loads. Not only that, but for most of their gearboxes, Pinion relies on a twist grip style shifter to pull the cable back and forth to change gear, which is arguably not as nice as a trigger style shifter. There's also the issue of the frame having to be designed around the gearbox, so it's more restrictive than a frame built for traditional derailleurs. If you want to use a Pinion gearbox, you're not going to be able to change it for anything else and you're tied into one brand and one drivetrain configuration. You can't just swap it out like you would with derailleur based frames and drivetrains. So it's easy to see then why gearboxes have their skeptics. Added an electric bike motor to help mitigate the drag penalty of existing gearboxes and wireless shifted with a more ergonomic trigger shifter though, and both of those issues are basically eradicated instantaneously, in theory at least. Enter the new eDrive motor gearbox unit or MGU for short. Pinion claims its new eDrive MGU system is not just a drivetrain but a powertrain. It unites a full power e-bike motor with a 9 or 12 speed gearbox with electronic shifting into a compact package that weighs around 4 kilograms. This compares to 2.9 kilograms and 2.6 kilogram weights of Bosch's Performance Line CX and Shimano's EP8 motors without drivetrain respectively. Adding in SRAM's traditional GX axis drivetrain to either Bosch or Shimano motors adds around 1.85 kilos. So you can see where the weight savings of having the motor and gearbox of the pinion system in one unit starts to add up. Despite cramming all of that in there, the e-drive is not much larger than full power e-bike motors from the likes of Bosch and Shimano. By uniting everything that's needed to power an e-bike into one unit, pinion claims the e-drive MGU knows what gear the rider is in and the cadence they are riding at so it can adjust the motor speed and support accordingly and select the perfect gear ratio for you. Pinion says it also knows when to shift, so you can always be in the optimum gear. Do it precisely, reliably, instantaneously, and depending on the setting, it can even shift for you. Just like its regular gearboxes, Pinion claims the system requires little maintenance, only needing an internal oil change every 10,000 kilometers. So exactly how does the e-drive work? Pinion has designed its own hardware and software to control the MGU. Data is fed to this via a series of patented internal sensors. Pinion claims these continuously read the input torque, motor speed and other metrics to ensure a natural riding feel. The brand says the beating heart of the motor powering the e-drive system was a state-of-the-art brushless motor that's both compact, wear-free and also manufactured in Germany. Pinion says that was is the key word to remember here, as the motor has been heavily modified with more powerful magnets to offer 
in the words of the brand, amazing efficiency, unmatched reliability, and incredible power density in comparison to other e-bike motors on the market. As with other e-bike motors, eDrive offers multiple levels of assistance with four levels of support or assistance levels to choose from. Eco is designed for maximum range, while the most powerful fly mode lets the rider access all the power of the system. Flow and Flex are adaptive riding modes that are claimed to alter the amount of support perfectly for every riding situation and terrain. Pinion also says there's a finely tuned starting aid to help prevent wheel spin when setting off on loose climbs, a boost button on the handlebar when you want an extra kick, and all support modes can be tailored to a rider's individual preferences through Pinion's Fit e-bike control app. Along with a choice of 9 or 12 speed internals, there are two setups, comfort and performance. These are pre-configured by manufacturers specking the e-drive on their bikes. Pinion says the comfort setup is designed to provide a balanced, natural ride feel that is ideally suited to commuting, touring and weekend adventures. Performance, on the other hand, has been developed for experienced EMTB riders and is better suited for more performance oriented applications, offering a finely tuned dynamic power output. There is also a dedicated speed version for speed pedelecs that ups the maximum supported speed up to 45 km an hour from 25. The regular e-bike version can provide up to 600 watts or 400% of assistance at a maximum cadence of 120 rpm. Pinion doesn't believe the way other e-bike manufacturers measure torque is applicable to their motor and gearbox unit, and as such they say the e-drive is measured at the output shaft rather than the power that actually goes to the back wheel. The brand claims the MGU gives up to 160 Nm of torque at the motor's output shaft in the first gear. For a more comparable measurement though, Pinion claims a maximum torque delivered to the rear wheel of 85 Nm, making it roughly in line with the competition. The 9 and 12 speed setups offer a range of 568 and 600% respectively. This means both offer more range than the most popular drivetrains on the market, namely SRAM Eagle's 520% and Shimano's Link Glide and Hyperglide 540% and 510% respectively. Steps between gears sit at around 24% for the 9 speed setup, which is reduced to 17.7% for the 12 speed version. But the gear range isn't the big news here. The limelight actually belongs to the SmartShift wireless shifting system. Pinion claims this can change gear within a fraction of a second with or without pedaling. A common complaint of the regular Pinion gearbox is its inability to shift smoothly under load, and as the new MGU is designed as a unit with the motor assisting the gearbox, the brand claims that on-power shifting is ultra precise. Shifter ergonomics are also said to be greatly improved compared to the regular gearbox. The new system uses a wireless trigger shifter that should be more intuitive and easier to use than the twist shifter of Pinion's regular gearboxes. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the shifter is very similar in style to Shimano's Di2 mountain bike shifter with two levers. The brand's own software connects the motor and gearbox elements together to enable semi-automatic shifting it calls Smart Shift. As the motor can monitor your speed and cadence and tailored support towards the situation you're in, the Smart Shift system knows when it is best to shift. It can even execute a pre-selected shift command thanks to two additional functions, pre-select and start select. Pre-select is a function that automatically shifts to the perfect gear for your speed when coasting downhill, meaning you're in the right gear to get back on the pedals without frantically clicking that shifter away and dumping a load of gears yourself. Start Select, which as you might guess from the name, can automatically shift into a pre-selected starting gear when you come to a complete stop. So no more awkwardly trying to get your bike going again in the wrong gear when you, say, stop at a set of traffic lights or at the base of a climb. The eDrive system is powered by lithium-ion battery cells. Paired to the batteries is an intelligent battery management system to protect them from overloading and causing lasting damage to the cells, as well as highlighting potential faults and issues through the handlebar display. 480, 720 and huge 960 watt hour batteries are available, as well as a range extender should you want even more juice. The remotes and displays for the system are available in a few size and function options, but regardless of the specification, all of the remotes buttons are backlit and provide haptic feedback that rises in intensity with the bike's speed. The system can be connected to Pinion's Fit e-Control app. 
to help plan or show routes via Komoot and all information as it is adjusted to the screen size. There's a version of the remote that features an integrated display for a true never take your hands off the bar experience too. Though we don't know if this all-in-one remote and display option has all the functionality of the separate remote and display options. This is definitely a nice touch though, as most other electric bikes feature separate remotes on the handlebar with a display mounted elsewhere on the bar, or even in the frame's top tube in some cases. Pinion has partnered with Simplon, Rottweiler and Flyer to introduce the eDrive system. Simplon and Rottweil will be introducing four suspension EMTBs equipped with the performance variant, while Flyer will have a host of city and touring bikes kitted out with the comfort variant. The new system is also rated for cargo bike use and there will be load lugging bikes sporting e-drive coming soon. If you want to experience the e-drive system, then these bikes are likely to be the only way to do it. Pinion haven't confirmed this, but we think it's highly unlikely you'll be able to swap your Bosch, Shimano or other brands of motor out for e-drive. We haven't had a chance to ride the system yet, but we're hoping to swing a leg over a bike equipped with e-drive in the coming weeks. So stay tuned to the channel and BikeRadar.com for our first ride impressions when we have them. So does this all sound too good to be true? Would you buy an electric bike fitted with this cutting edge powertrain? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and if you want even more electric bike goodness, then check out this video.